So you are a loving, kind, compassionate, empathic person and you are being hated for it. How surprising. So let's talk about the love you give to others. The generosity and the kindness you show them has been completely rejected. The love you give, they hate. They don't want to accept the love you have been showering. It leaves you in confusion why they hate it, why they are rejecting you and rejecting your love. Don't we all want love? But how come the people I'm giving love to, they don't accept it and they reject it and they deny it and they dismiss it? Why is this happening? So in this video, that's what we're going to talk about is the love you have been giving, they are hating. Especially if you are a chosen one, the light worker, somebody who is highly conscious and aware being, you may encounter this a lot in your life where you are being kind, you are being loving, you are being compassionate, you are really wanting love and you are giving love. But the people you give love to, they hate it. They hate it, they reject it, they dismiss it. And it's very hurtful. It's very hurtful to experience, right? And you keep giving it, even though they are rejecting it, but you keep giving it because you think this is how one day they will acknowledge the love you have been giving. And it has been keeping you in this loop of consistently giving without receiving anything in return. It is very, very difficult dynamic for you. So why do they hate the love you give? So the number one reason they hate the love you have been giving is because they have never been loved or experienced love in its purest form. It is not about you. It is about them. They have never experienced love. They may have never been treated well. They are used to toxicity. They are used to toxic relationships. They are into trauma bonds, not loving relationship. When people are used to trauma, pain, damage, they believe that's what love is. So if a healthy person, a secure person, a loving person, give them actual kind, compassionate love, they will reject it because for them, that's not love. They don't receive it because of the toxicity they have been used to. Another reason they hate the love you give is because they hate themselves. They hate themselves. They hate the way they are. They haven't acknowledged their goodness. They haven't been aware of their true self their true being, their light. And because they've hated themselves all their life, when somebody from a good place show them, shower them with love, what are they going to do? Reject it. They're not used to it. They don't love themselves. How are they going to accept love? They're not going to accept love. And you think it's something wrong with you. But it's nothing wrong with you. It is... You are giving love to wrong people. Especially when we think about relationships, intimate relationships. It is very difficult to give love to somebody who's not used to love. Doesn't matter how much you give, if they are used to hate, if they are used to toxicity, if they think that the idea of love comes from their social conditioning or the movies or the, the idea which we have experienced of love, where it's love is pain. 
the idea of love being pain is the reason why they cannot accept the love, the actual healthy love, the unconditional love, the love which brings joy and happiness. They cannot accept it because they're used to drama, they're used to toxicity, they're used to damaging behaviors. And they find it very alien when you come from a secure place, you bring this healthy version of love. It's, they're not used to it. And then this conflict, this drama, this damage occurs where that relationship either breaks or, or becomes this toxic relationship where one person constantly gives, other person constantly avoids. And that dynamic goes as long as both parties entertain it. And that's the reason they hate the love you give. The truth is they are so familiar with the pain that love becomes unfamiliar. If they had damaging childhood, they had traumatic relationships in the past, they never loved or acknowledged or worked on themselves. They never had moment to recognize and become aware of themselves, their being. They will not acknowledge your love and your being. And usually we take that very personally. We think it's something wrong with us. It's not. They are not ready to be loved. They are not ready to accept love. And that's something they have to come in terms with. It's nothing we can do about it. Every human being on this planet or is on a journey on their own path and they have to come in terms with their goodness their true self their true identity and until they come in terms with their own true identity they will keep rejecting great people great opportunities great relationships until they come in terms with what they deserve. And you cannot fix that. You cannot bring that to them. That's something they have to come up and realize, recognize on their own. They are on their own journey. The best thing you can do is not make it about yourself. Detach, non-attached yourself, your being, from their trauma, from their pain, from their toxicity. We cannot help other people if they are not willing to help themselves. So detaching yourself from their toxicity and letting them live in their pain until they are ready to recognize, and they may never be ready to recognize, so you cannot wait for it. You allow them to go on their journey whilst you are going in your own journey. You can only keep people who are willing to be in your life, who are willing to accept your love. You cannot keep people who are hating themselves. And you cannot make them realize that they should not hate themselves. They should love themselves. It, it, it needs to come from them. Unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about it. They have to recognize it. They have to realize it. So stop blaming. Stop trying to make yourself less than because of how other people are behaving, how other people are treating. It is not about you. It is not about you. You have to detach. Your job is to detach from them. 
and realize it's not about you. The more you keep pestering and trying to force your love to them, the more pain you are going to feel because they are not ready to get this love. You have to find people who are ready to receive love and accept love. We cannot force anyone to have something they don't want to have. And this is why, I mean, if, if we take an example of money, people who are really, really poor and one day they win lottery, right? And there's so many cases and you can search on Google, people who win lotteries, they, within a few years, they are poor again. They really spend it or because of the money, they even have more pain. And there's so many stories out there where people won the lottery, millions and millions of dollars, and then they got involved in wrong stuff, did wrong things, and that became even more damaging. Having money became even more damaging. So what did they do? They end up giving up all the money because they thought money is the problem. Money was not the problem. The problem was they were not ready to have the money. They, they had no capacity to keep the money. So they either spend it, let it go, or their life even go worse after having the money. They get involved with wrong people, damaging environment, damage themselves, damage their life, destroy it. And then they think money is the problem. Do you see it? You cannot make people realize what they are not willing to realize. You cannot make people see what they're not willing to see. This is why you cannot give love and accept that you are going to get love from people who are not going to give you. That just doesn't work. You have to just find people who are willing to accept and give love in return. So I hope this video was helpful to you. And I just wanted to mention that few spots have been opened up to be coached by me. So if you are suffering emotionally and exhausted, burnt out, and you're ready to leave this, this feeling and committed to change your life, transform your life in 2024, then do complete a short application linked below and qualify for a complimentary call to see if we are right fit to work together. Like this video if you like this video and subscribe to my channel. This is the next video you should watch, which is about seven attitudes of a person who only using you and does not care about you.